So, you know, at the beginning of my career, I was a lawyer. It was pretty, um, pretty hard work. I used to work some really long hours and sometimes the cases that we were on could be really, really stressful. Um, and at one point I got really exhausted, like, like properly really exhausted that I had to go to the doctor and I just couldn't understand why I felt so terrible. I'd always been really, really motivated at work and suddenly I felt quite listless. And the first thing she asked me was, um, so what have you been eating? And I thought, um, do, you know, do you know what? I actually have not been taking my lunch properly and I've just been like randomly grabbing anything that I can because I'm so busy and because I'm so tired and because I'm working such long hours, I just hadn't been eating lunch. And um, Classic busy person habit. Yeah, exactly. And, and what's amazing is that it hadn't just made me a bit hungry or um, made me feel a bit rubbish. It had genuinely made me feel terrible. It had made me feel quite low. It had made me feel just totally exhausted. And it was just something as simple as as not eating. I started being really conscious about, about taking a meal, even if it was just a short break, and immediately I felt 10 times better. It's a bit like when we started Step Up um, and it was kind of the other side of the coin, so we weren't stressed, we were just really excited. Do you remember, we used to sit at our desks and just like tap away furiously and the time would tick by and we just didn't eat and we felt so rubbish. So it would be like three o'clock yeah. and we just hadn't eaten anything. I know. And actually we felt pretty depleted then as well, so I think we realised pretty quick the importance of having a lunch break. Literally one of the most important things that you can do in your work day is to take a lunch break and in that lunch break actually eat. You don't have to sit down for an hour for a long meal but you need to take a break, get away from your desk and you just can't forget to eat something that's so important for your energy, your resilience and your concentration. And actually another brilliant thing to do during your lunch hour, and I definitely find this as a writer, is if you're kind of struggling in the morning and you're hungry, is to eat your food and then get up and go for a walk. Um, just changing your environment and being active and being outside has a kind of proven impact um, on your feel good and also on your kind of ability to work in the afternoon. We know lots and lots of people come to us and they say, it's all very well, I know that I need to eat, I know that that's part of the problem with my energy, but I just actually don't have the time to go out and buy a sandwich, or around me it's all really expensive, so what can I do? Well, Melissa Hemsley is a massive um, mentor of ours, yeah. and she always gives us amazing advice on food. 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 <laughs> amazing food. And one thing that she said to us, which we now consciously try to do, is to make a soup, make a stew, make something that's like a big one-pot meal at home, freeze it in portions and then you can just take one portion to work with you. It's there, it's easy, it's quick, stick it in the microwave, heat it up quickly, you eat it, done. And actually another interesting point is to not always think about your lunch break as a lunch hour. Like we sometimes we're too busy to take an hour and that's okay. I think it's just the point of at least taking 10 or 15 minutes where you're not working, you're not scrolling through Instagram, um, you're not at your computer and you're away and your mind can just revive itself slightly. It will have a massive impact on everything that you do at work and actually it will have a massive impact on how you feel in life as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also we'd love to hear your comments on food and your lunch break. What do you eat and what do you do? And don't forget to subscribe to our uh, website. We've got a newsletter which comes out with loads more career and business enhancing tips. And of course our social, Twitter and Instagram, at The Step Up Club. And we're on Facebook too.